please him. But this is um, something that happened to me, and guys, it's just awesome. And so I wanted to talk to you about that. Um, okay. A few months ago, um, I got a ticket. Um, I was actually just driving along, and it was at night, and I was in this town, and this cop passed me on the other side of the road, and I look in my rearview mirror, and he turns around. I mean, he, he goes way down from me. Then he does this U-turn in the middle of the road and turns around and, like, comes after me. He didn't turn his lights on, but he just got right on my bumper and was following me. And then he turned his lights on, and I was like, you know, what did I do? I, I haven't done anything. I wasn't speeding. I was coming back from church, actually. And I was praying the whole time. I'm like, Lord, I need your favor in this situation. I don't know what I've done wrong. Um, why he's stopping me. Why he's just coming after me. So anyway, when he comes up to the vehicle, he says... He shines a flashlight, and he's like, oh, well, this is not the vehicle that I was looking for. I was looking, actually, for a vehicle like this, but it was a different color. And so he said, but, ma'am, your tags are expired. And I was like, oh, oh no. So anyway, he um, he says, you know, let me, um, let me see your license and registration. So anyway... <laughs> I get into my glove compartment and I pull out all the papers and there's papers everywhere in there and I'm looking and the last registration I have in my glove compartment is from 2013. I have no idea where my 2015 one is but obviously I had tags so I have a registration but it's not in amongst those papers. And so then I get ready to look for my insurance card. Um, guess what? I cannot find my insurance card. And so I just look at him and I'm like, sir, I, I'm so sorry, but I do have insurance. And I told him what company I had it with and everything. He goes, well, okay. And he didn't say anything else. So he went back to um, the car and the whole time I'm praying, I'm like, God, why did this happen to me? I mean, he just came out of nowhere after me. And um, so anyway, I, you know, I'm not understanding what's, what's happening, you know, because I've prayed. I've asked God for favor and, you know, I've asked him to help me and work it out. Well, when he comes back, he says, well, ma'am, you know, I gave you a ticket for your tags, but I didn't, you know, um, give you a ticket for the registration and insurance because, you know, I believe you. I know, you know, I believe that you have that. And so um, anyway, you know, he, he we talked for a little bit. He ends up apologizing to me for giving me a ticket. And, 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 you know, all went well. It was a very good conversation. But anyway, I've got this ticket, you know, and I'm like, God, you know, I don't understand why this happened to me. I mean, yeah, my tags were bad, but, you know, um, he didn't. He, he, he couldn't have known that. He was on the other side of the road, and he comes around and just gets on me, coming after me, you know. So, anyway, God just told me, I have got this. I have got this. Do not worry about it. So, anyway, in the meantime, you know, go and get my tags, and so I'm going to court, you know. And so, anyway, I had to go to court a couple of days ago. And I was like, God, you know, I know that you have this. You already told me you did. And I believe that I'm not going to have to pay a dime. And so, anyway, you know, I asked for God's favor. And I prayed before I went in. And so, anyway, he, um, the judge is like, I walk in there. And the judge is in a horrible mood. And there's a lot of people in front of me. And he was just not being... You know, it just wasn't a good day for the judge. I'll say that. And he, I don't know what happened to him that morning, but he just wasn't in the best mood. And so, anybody, everybody that went up there, he was like, well, what is your excuse? And, of course, some people tried to explain to him. And he was like, well, I'll throw the ticket out, but you're going to pay court costs. Every single person up there had to pay court costs. Everyone before me had to pay. And so... You know, some people, he didn't even like what they said. I mean, he's like, no, you're without excuse. You will pay this ticket and court cost. I mean, he was just in a mood, y'all. And so I, I'm just sitting there, and I'm just like, Lord, give me the words. Help me, you know, because I'm not going to make any excuses when I go up there. You know, I'm just going to to be honest, you know. And so anyway, he um, he asked me to come up, and I went up there, and he said, um, what do you have to say about this? And I said, well, my tags expired on this date. And I got the ticket on this date. And that's all I said. And he just looked at me and he said, oh, that's nothing. He said, I'm just going to let you go with a warning. No court costs. And I'm going to tear this ticket up. And guys, I mean, it was 
that is God. I'm telling you, it was the favor of God that he saw on me because he was not letting not one single person out of that courthouse without paying court costs. Everybody, and it was a lot of people in front of me, every single person, whether they had to pay the ticket or not, had to pay court costs. He let me go. Guys, that is God. I just want y'all to know that even when the situation looks bad, even when it looks like it is not going to work out in our favor and all is against us, God is there. He takes care of his children. And in Romans 8, 28, he tells us that he works all things out for the good of those called according to his purpose. And if you will believe that and you will stand on that, you will see the favor of God in your life and you will see the hand of God. So everybody be blessed. Have, have an awesome day. And y'all remember, God's going to work it out for your good if you believe we have to believe. That is called faith. Get your faith up, guys. Believe and see the hand of God come across and work everything out in your favor. So anyway, y'all have a blessed day.